<laughs> Welcome to another match from the 2023 Crokinole Accelerate. Today we have a Waterloo doubles match between Reed Tracy and Connor Reinman versus Ron Langell and Josh Carafello. For those of you who are unaware, Waterloo doubles is a unique version of a Crokinole doubles match where aside from the first shot, players can discuss amongst themselves to decide who will shoot. We have a very exciting match. At the time of this recording, Reinman was ranked first in the National Crokinole Association and Reed at 13th. Langell was ranked 8th and Carafello ranked 6th. Both teams starting off strong with open 20s. Langell just missing, lipping out. Now normally it would be Reinman's turn, but it's lined up better for Reed, so he takes a shot and drains a 20. Carafello to proceed, evening it out. Reinman now shooting an open 20, and he scores. Both teams neck and neck. Going counter clockwise around the board. Lanjo follows it up with another 20. Connor to shoot again, and he's on fire. Very wise choice. Back to Carafello. He scores another one. Reed to shoot, and he misses overshooting, going to the other side of inside the pegs. Players discussing who's to shoot. Lanjo to go with a beautiful touch 20. Bringing the score up. It's very good, although Ryman and Tracy have hammer. Carafello to take it from the outside, going to the other side of the pegs. Most likely Ryman to shoot for this disc. And he hits and stays just on the outside. Langell most likely trying to peel in, which he does. Leaving it at an interesting spot. Players discussing who to shoot. Looks like Reed will be lining up for at least a touch 20. Langell again to peel in. Bringing it in to the far side of the pegs from Connor. Who will be going for it. Probably hoping to catch a peg. Goes over the hole, just leaving it there. Carabello with a beautiful follow through, putting his team up 120. Landrill now, hitting and sticking, getting the off. Each player's with one disc each, deciding who is better off to shoot now and who is better off to take the final shot. Reed going for a follow through. And he just misses it. Great bid though. Carafello with his team's last shot. Peeling to the outside, giving Reinman a very tough shot. He needs the off and the 20 to tie this round. And he peels in, catches a few pegs, but no cigar. Langell with that beautiful touch. And Carafello here. Great highlight reel from him. We go into the second round with Langell and Carafello being up two points. Reed to open. And he just misses a 20, leaving what looks to be a heavy hanger for Langell. Scores to 20. Great way to start with them having the hammer. Ryman follows up with his own 20. Missing the 20s cup, though. Oh, and Carafello with a miss. Reed to shoot. Oh! Just lipping out of the center again. Langell also missing, though a heavy backboard. Two discs on the board now. One for each team. Teams discussing. Connor going for the follow through. Not quite, but not leaving a very nice placement from either angle. Teams discussing which is the better to go for. Not sure if Carafello has a touch angle in there. It looks like Landrill will be going, at least hoping for the off, which he gets. Reed now to shoot, maybe going for a follow through. Team's having a laugh, the audio is muted, so I can only assume <laughs> that not the best things are being said. <laughs> he gets the off and rolls to the outside, 
both discs side by side, a potential double here for Langell. Certainly lining up, at least for one, which he gets. Leaving this at an awkward spot for Reinman now. Not sure if he'll pass the shot off to Reed, which he does. Reed lining up potentially for a follow through. And he gets it. Beautiful shot. Unfortunately, we could not see it. Big man blocking the camera. Carafello trying to peel into the 15, but not quite. Ryman rolling back, leaving Carafello a nice backboard there, which he gets, and the off. Teams now tied in the 20s cup. Ryman draining a 20. Carafello just lipping out, leaving Reed with a heavy hanger, but certainly doable. And he rolls away, not leaving the nicest leave, certainly doable. And Langell just overshoots, leaving potentially no. Now this is an interesting situation, not really lined up nicely for either of the players. Discussing amongst themselves how they can mess up that backboard. If that red disc is left there, Reinman is nearly guaranteed another 20 for his team. The options are for Landrill to go for an aggressive follow-through to bump his own disc away, or for Carafello to bump his own, which he seems to be doing, to get that away from the center, to not leave Tracy or Reinman with anything. He does that all right, but leaves the opponent disc on the board. Looks like Connor will be going for the shot, considering what he should do. Analyzing the board, he probably wants to get a 20 if he can, but I'm not sure if it's there. Players discussing angles. Looks like he's pointing towards the peg, so maybe, maybe hoping to catch the peg there. Could be a little far away for that. Reed scratching his head. Clearly an interesting situation. Looks as though from his point set, he's going to be hoping to hit one and the other. And he gets a double and the off. <laughs> Now, since they're up the 20, this could be good for them. Leaving a disc on the outside, Landrill has to peel in, which he does, but not quite close enough. All Tracy needs to do is not leave his disc near the 20. Now, Carafello has a very, very tough shot to get a 20 to tie the round. And he does it! Catches a peg. Reed making some kind of comment towards the craziness of that shot. Let's play that back. Reed giving a thumbs up to that double Reinman got. Carafello here hitting the disc off, catching a peg, and going into the 20. Players still having a chuckle about that as they go into the third round. Langell just leaving it short. Reinman to come up the side. And he gets the 20. Not the off, though. Leaving that opponent disc in the 15. Players discussing who should take it. Landry could take the open 20, but then he leaves Tracy with the backboard. So Carafello go for the bump up. Just misses it. Probably the right call, though. If he had scored that, wouldn't have left Reed with a very nice leave. Reed now. Just peeling into the 15. Ronnie getting the off and the 20. Tying the teams in the 20 cup. Ryman getting a nice off and leaving his in the 15. Now Tracy and Ryman do have hammer, but they probably want to get a bit more than just tied in the 20 cup to feel comfortable right now. Uh, if I were to take this, I'd probably punch it over and roll between the pegs. I'd take that. Yeah. Uh, like Players that. discussing how to stay away from the 20. Maybe they are happy to just stay like this. Reed on the far side of the pegs. 
Looks like Ron is up to shoot. Hoping to bring it back closer into the 15. Not too close, but just a little bit more than what it is right now. Carafello, actually. Potentially a shoot for this. Maybe a follow through. And very good bid, but leaving it a bit too close to the center. Reinman now. Most likely to get the off and the 20. And he leaves a hanger for Landrill. Lines up for it. Who also doesn't get it. Reed now with a great opportunity. He also, three in a row. Will Carafello keep up the pattern or will he drain a 20? <laughs> what am I saying? It's Carafello. We know he wants it. Reed making a comment about that. Reinman to equalize it in the 20s cup. Landrill and Reed tied in the 20s cup. Now back to a 20s race. All of these top players are sharp shooters. So, it will most likely come down to who messes up first. Nobody breaking Reed to shoot, and he goes over. The other team discussing who's better to get the 20 off this shot now. Langel just lipping out of the center. Getting the off, though. Leaving Reinman with the backboard. Making sure he's got the perfect shot. And he drains it. Now tied in the 20s cup. Carafello draining his. So Reed to tie the round needs the 20. And he gets it. They tie another round. Bringing the score 2-4-2. Two, two, which means Reinman and Tracy do have an opportunity to tie this game if they can win the final round of this match. Reinman to shoot first. Comes up short. In near the middle. So a little bit of a dis discussion between Langell and Carafello of who should take this. Carafello doesn't like it. So perhaps Langell will be the one shooting for this. Most certainly hoping to get a 20. If, if Most likely the off as well, if possible. Neither player seems to like it, though. Passing it between each other. You should take it. No, you should take it. <laughs> seems Langell has decided to take this shot. Most certainly going for the off. And he catches a peg into the 20. He plays it off, but you can tell by that smile. But Langell loved that shot. Carafello now with a backboard, just missing the 20. Leaving Reed with a tough but doable shot here. Gets the off and the 20. Tying it in the 20s cup. Now Reinman and Tracy have hammer. With such an opportunity, they definitely want to take the 20, which Reinman gets. Clears the board, leaving Carafello with an open board, which... Means a 20. <laughs> Reed just overshooting a little bit, leaving Langell with an opportunity. And he just misses Reed to take this. Bit quick on that shot. Langell again to get a 20 and the off. An open board now. Ryan and Tracy. Most certainly wanting to catch up now. They're tied in the 20s cup. Just misses the 20. Carafello now. Also not quite there. Reed left with what looks like a doable hanger. And he just misses it. But now they have two discs on the board. Not a horrible spot to be in. Although... Carafello and Langell do have the hammer. Langell hits and stays on the outside. Reinman peels his disc very wisely. Not wanting to play on the outside right now. Langell and Carafello do have hammer. So, Reinman and Tracy need to make something happen here. Reinman accidentally clears the board, giving Langell an opportunity to get ahead in the 20s cup, which he does. Reinman needs to score this to even make Carafello shoot. 
Everyone's writing the score. And Carafello just gets it into the ballot shot region, landing on that line, winning the round by 10 points. Great shots from both teams here. <laughs> Gotta admire that shot again just off the peg. Reed and Reinman, both with great shots this round. Fighting and staying in the game till the very end. But Carafello and Langel come out of this game 6-2. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more matches, subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop with all of the Crokinole action. My name is Garrett Tracy. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, happy flicking.